So I have my women's accelerator program, which is a group of eight women. So I signed all of those women um, in this, while being in this program. And uh, those were eight women. And my, my fee for that program for a four month accelerator program is $3,500, $3,500. And then I've also signed five um, men and women for a mastermind program at a rate of $5,500. And so you could do the math, like that's them. And then I've gotten multiple one-on-one -on -one clients while being in this program as well. Some that are one-on-one -on -one that are doing some of my, some of my masterminds and accelerators. Um, and since this program, I'm putting on a live event, which is really exciting. <laughs> also, uh, I've gotten some op other opportunities like brand opportunities. Um, I've gotten some partnership opportunities. It's just been like, Kind of surreal, kind of crazy. <laughs>Hello, my friend, and welcome to this interview with a Fearless Coach Academy client. I've got Harry Lopez on here. Harry, welcome to our interview. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing great. Thank you, Peter. I'm really excited to be here and yeah, share some wings. I'm so wings. excited to interview you. You know, you started a few months ago, and you've had some incredible results in growing your coaching business since we started. And so I was really excited that you were open to share, kind of pull the curtain and share the behind the scenes on not only the results that you got um, with your clients and the results you've gotten growing your coaching business, but also some of the things that you've implemented so that the person watching this can really go and apply this into their business. So what I'd love to do, Harry, is just start by introducing yourself. You know, why don't you introduce, you know, who you are, um, you know, the name of your business and where you're from, where you're based. Great, thank you, Peter. Um, as Peter already mentioned, as you've mentioned, my name is Harry Lopez. I am based in Miami, Florida, and uh, I am, I consider myself more of a general transformation coach. So I, I don't really niche in any particular area, although I am working on that in this program. Um, I generally coach pretty much anyone, and I just get to the source of what's holding them back so they can create transformations and breakthroughs in their lives. Um, but if I was to, if I was to, select a particular demographic of client clientele that I, that I serve predominantly, it would be the Latinx community. Uh, Latinos, men and women from all, uh, all parts of the United States and some in different, different countries um, who are entrepreneurs or coaches or high achievers that are looking to get to the next level in their lives. Um, and it's been so fun for me. And I've, I started my business more as a leadership executive coach, but I'm, I do a little bit more of a blend, and I, a lot of different disciplines that have gone in there. So my company is called Lopez Executive Coaching, um, but I've also got transformation coaching and it's just, it's been changing and it's ever evolving, which is really fun. <laughs> So I want to acknowledge you for that, Harry, because a lot of coaches have a, can have this fixed mindset of saying, okay, this is the only thing that I can do. And obviously you want to be very specific. You want to narrow your niche and you're working on that right now, but you also want to remain flexible because you've got different groups that you lead, right? You don't just do one-on-one -on -one coaching. How do you deliver your coaching right now? Great question. I, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, a minimum of six months with private clients. Um, I started off with a lot less, um, two, uh, three month, four month clients, but I wasn't seeing the transformations I wanted. So at the six month mark is where the sweet spot is, where I have a lot of fun. And then I have, I hold, um, I host two group coaching programs. One is a women's accelerator, uh, which is just for Latina women, just happened to be the kind of the, the demographic that I, I was attracting, given a lot of my current clients. Mm -hmm. And then I host a mastermind called Breakthrough Success Mastermind, which is a five-month program. And it actually begins, the next round begins next Sunday, March 10th, um, which is really exciting. And that's co-ed, men and women, entrepreneurs, coaches. I've got therapists in the group. I've got artists, uh, um, writers, and so on and so forth. So it's a really exciting program. That's a five-month program. It's mostly virtual with two live events um, during the five month program, but it's gonna be rolling. So there, I'll, I'll be bringing in clients throughout the five months to just accept, extend and continuously keep bringing in clients and serving. I love it. And I, 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 I've got to say that a lot of coaches are afraid of doing the live uh, intensives or the live retreats. That's itchy, right? That's when you're in front of the group. It's um, more personal than just coaching like this, although this coaching is incredibly valuable. There's so much exponential value that happens when you bring your clients together. 
Um, and this is an edge for a lot of coaches. I say that many clients come to you for content, they come to you for strategies, they come to you for your ideas, but they stay with you for community. And mm. I think it's beautiful that you're bringing your clients together to deepen the bonds with each other. What happens is not only do they deepen their relationship with you as, as you being their mentor, but they also deepen their relationships with each other and the accountability increases. So any, for anyone watching this, modeling, a, you know, putting together your coaching program and modeling what Harry is doing is something I would highly recommend. So awesome, Harry. Well, we've been working together for almost 90 days now, uh, I think a few months now. Uh, and I would love to hear, you know, why, uh, you know, you joined the Six Figure Coach Launchpad program a few months ago. Why did you join? If you can go back to that moment when we had that first conversation, what was going on in your business that led you to say, you know what? Yes, this definitely is a support I'm needing. Yeah, absolutely. Great question. I remember exactly where I was. I was in WeWork, Lincoln Road, Miami Beach, and it was in, I was in a secluded office. And I remember seeing a lot of your emails come through. I was just getting a lot of your, your mail. Your, I was on your mailing list and was getting all of your emails. And I remember thinking, this is really good content. And I like how clean it looks and it's consistent. And I knew that at the time I had a lot of what we could call leaky systems. Like my systems were kind of shaky, not very tight. And I wanted to really work on them um, from mail from email marketing to my finances like setting up recurring payments setting up that system to be really tight and and, and sharp to enrolling clients to my online everything just needed support and help because so i had just i had just finished doing one year of full-time coaching and i really was attracted to the way that you were positioning yourself online and i wanted to learn from you um, so at the time um, i knew that i wanted to coach and that i wanted I, did, I wasn't sure that I wanted a community, to be honest. Yeah. I had just finished my own master, a mastermind, uh, a different mastermind, which was um, a business mastermind, but it was more of me doing a lot of more inner work and gaining the confidence to really put myself out into the world and getting clear of the limiting beliefs that are holding me back. And after our call and seeing your process, the way that you led me through your enrollment script, I was pretty, I knew within maybe 25% of into the call maybe even sooner that I wanted to join your program. Um, and I initially thought I was really persistent. I was, I remember being a little aggressive with you about wanting to learn about how to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. And you were, you were interested in that, but you were, you also, I, I'm sure intuitively sensed that I could really benefit from being in the mas your mastermind group. So I joined your mastermind group wanting to just tighten up and work on all, everything, all of my business systems. Yeah. And that's what I was looking for. Okay, awesome. Now I'm curious because I'm sure somebody watching this can relate to that feeling of like not having the structured or maybe organization that they wanted to or the automation. How is that impacting you? So like how is that impacting your stress, your emotions, your presence, not having those systems, not having that structure? What was that, you know, how is that showing up for you in your life? It, everything was just very stressful. Everything seemed like, I, it just seemed like I was juggling everything. And um, it was a little bit of laziness on my end, not getting to it, or just knowing that, or just maybe not even knowing what I needed to do. Um, a lot of balancing and managing different payments, or I would go through through enrollment conversations with clients and they'd be I'd go three, two, three, sometimes four hours with clients on those calls. And I was just coaching, just, un, just deeply serving, but not really having a game plan or a roadmap or an, a clear understanding of how to connect the dots between what they were going through, how I could serve them, and um, the impacts that they would have working with me. And I remember when I, when I first joined your program, the first week, I, the first week, I mean, there's, you have your modules, but I remember I skipped everything yeah. and I went right into the enrollment call script. And that's what I wanted to know. I wanted to learn the way that you did it. I wanted to, I wanted to, um, I wanted to get it so down and clear, and and I wanted it to be just formulaic, formulaic and easy, so that every single time I got on the phone, I knew exactly what was happening next. I knew exactly where I was taking them, and I wouldn't spend three or four hours on the call with a client. And ever since I joined, ever since I started doing that, my enrollment, my enrollment numbers just skyrocketed from your, um, wow. your, your script. 
if you were to know, what do you think your enrollment numbers were approximately before you had that process and then after since you joined the program? Well, I would say before the program, it was probably around like 40% enrollment. 40% okay. enrollment of all leads that were coming in. And I was serving a lot. Yeah. I was doing a lot of enrollment calls. I was just putting myself out there. And then after the program, I think it would probably... It, probably went up to like 70 or 80 percent or almost every other call every, almost every call every conversation I was I was um taking every call I was every enrollment call was just becoming a yes um and it was and it got to the point where there's a couple uh magic pills or formulas within the script mm -hmm. that I just shifted a couple things in the ways that I was saying things where it just led it led the client to ask me to for the offer to make to give them the price for the program and that felt super empowering because I always felt a little um, resistance on the when I had to get to the pricing but it, it now shifted the tables returning because I had the language now for my my potential client to just lead me to that it was really nice and I love that Harry yeah and that one distinction that for sure could have credited from 40% because 40% is already a really good enrollment rate you know, most coaches when they're starting are in that like 10 to 20%. So that shows that, again, you're coming from a very heart-centered place. Um, you believe in what you're doing. But again, having the structure that we teach you, right, allowed you to go from 40 to 70, 80%, which is amazing. So I thank you for trusting me and practicing that. Because I would imagine in the beginning, that may feel a little bit uncomfortable because you're not used to it. Right. And the more that you did it, the more unconscious competence you gained uh, with that. And you're exactly right about the energy. Many coaches have a great first 30 minutes of their call. But then when they get to the offer, things get kind of awkward or weird. Right. They don't know what to say. And then they start either backpedaling, afraid to make an offer, or they try to pressure somebody to make a decision. And neither of those things feel really good. So to have something knowing what to say and how to say it so that that prospective client come towards you, right? Their energy comes towards you and says, Harry, tell me, you know, what are their details? How do I work with you? What's the investment? All of that, which it sounds like that's what was happening. So I love yeah. it. Yeah, um, absolutely. Now, if you think back to when we first started, what were some of the concerns and the fears that you had about reaching out for support? you know, about hiring a mentor? Were there any fears or concerns? I remember one of my biggest concerns in the very beginning, and we talked a lot about, the biggest gap that I had was that all my entire business was offline, and I was getting clients just word of mouth, referrals, invitations, going to dinner parties, going to networking events, and that felt a little exhausting. One of my concerns was, in this program, I, need, I knew that I needed to get online, to start building um, systems and get really clear with my niche and start uh, tailoring to that demographic. I wasn't sure that I was ready to do that. I, I had all these beliefs and misunderstandings and stories. Um, and I said, oh, I, I'll get to that later on when I'm a little bit more proficient with my coaching. I can start doing webinars or I could start doing a lead, lead magnets and, and things like of that sort later on. So that was a bit of a resistance for me in the beginning. Um, and this concept of unpacking my IP, unpacking my intellectual property, I had never heard of it before. And I had a sense that if I wanted to grow and I wanted to impact more people, I needed to understand these marketing terms, these marketing tools. And I've always, I've been coaching now for many years. I started with, co with coaching teachers back many years ago. I always saw myself first as a coach second as a marketer, maybe even third or fourth or fifth as a marketer. But I always invested in my coaching, my deep, deep transformational tools and techniques and just doing the work one-on-one. -on -one. But I know that if I want to stay aligned with my big vision, my MTP, my massively transformational purpose of impacting people, I need to learn these tools. I need to get online and I needed to, to invest in my knowledge, my marketing knowledge. So that was resistance for me. Yeah. And, you know, I, I love that you prioritize mastering your craft first. I think that's really important, right? Because you gain the skills to actually really be an effective coach and deliver value, which is super important. We have a philosophy in the Fearless Coach Academy, right? We say under promise and over deliver. 
That's how you want to operate. Most coaches outside of this world are doing the opposite, sadly. So you had the skills, you had the credibility. The risk though that you run is only investing in yourself on honing those skills. It makes you a more effective coach, but it doesn't necessarily help you help more people, right? Because it doesn't matter how good of a coach you are if no one knows that you exist. So I totally uh, honor the, the uncertainty, the fear, the resistance there, and I appreciate you diving in, you being open-minded, you becoming a student of those things. Because I remember when we first talked, you were getting good results, but you were working around the clock to do that. Right? You're hustling a lot. And there's a time and place for hustle. Every coach needs to do that at certain stages. But if all you do that, if all you do is hustle and there's no systems, there's no automation, then number one, it's very easy to eventually burn out. And number two, when you stop working, your business stops working. Right? And so now it sounds like you feel like you got at least a system and an idea of how to start building that leverage and to start automating some of the front end. And I know we're working on a lot of those projects right now. So yes, um, very cool, Harry. Well, I would love to hear, you know, if you could, I know there's a lot of things that you've learned, but what are the top three things that you've learned by being in the Six Figure Coach Launchpad program that has really helped you grow your coaching business? Um, what are the first three things, you know, one, two or three things that come to mind that have made the biggest impact? Hmm. I think, I mean, just the first and foremost is um, beyond, I, I'll share the, the more of the technical things that I've learned in the program, but I think number, number one is just investing in myself and being in a community and getting support and being in a mastermind community where people are all just going for it. Like everybody's really just hungry and up leveling. And my experience is that when you join a mastermind program and it's this one's six months, it's kind of like you're, you're getting the results that normally people would, it would take them maybe six years to get because you're just like super focused. And for me, every single week is a sprint. So I'm just like going at a sprint, doing as much as I can each week while also taking care of myself and then repeating the sprint the next week. So that's number one. Number two, um, just getting very, there's an expression that I want to say, but I don't know how to say it. It's like, it doesn't, things don't have to be so hard. Like you don't have to recreate the wheel. There's, there's ways of doing things that, and, and secrets that you can adopt and learn and apply and implement into your business to get you the results that you want. For example, I think of the enrollment script, the enrollment call script. Like before your program, I was doing about 60% of the, the things on the script, but then there were little tools and, and secrets and like what you call ninjas, ninja moves or something. Yeah. Like things you can say that will, things that you can say, things that you do that will just quickly tweak and strengthen your processes and your systems. Um, and that, that's been huge. Number three, um, with this idea of unpacking your IP, it's so powerful. Like the moment I just, I, I stopped resisting um, getting my, putting myself on video and believing that I had something of value to share with the world, everything just started turning around. Like now during my sessions, I'm constantly in the mindset of thinking, okay, how can I like, now I'm going to put this into a video so I can serve more people later and I don't have to continue repeat the, repeating this. And I'm, I'm thinking about, wow, now the moment that I, I, I had all these stories, I have nothing to share. I have nothing of value. Um, like, I don't know what I would talk about in a video. I don't know what kind of program I put together, but now I realize there's just so much to share. We live in such an abundant world. And now because of all the sharing that I've done, I'm doing more speaking. I'm getting called for speaking opportunities. I'm getting brand deals because I'm putting more videos on my social media channels. Like just opportunities come to you when you just start saying yes. You start showing up in new ways. So I think those are some big ones. I feel like I'm leaving some things out. But That's, I mean, those are huge, right? So to be able to, you know, have a structured process for your enrollment calls now where that increased conversion from 40% to 80% is amazing. To be able to have a process for taking what you've done over and over again on your calls and unpacking it from your mind and packaging it into videos so that you can have more students that are being impacted. 
that's those are huge right and noticing that you you have to have an element of faith in a way an element of trust because there is unknown there is uncertainty if you haven't done that before right and it's easy i'm sure anyone watching this who's just growing their coaching business may feel that same fear that same insecurity that same doubt of like well who am i to really help somebody do i really know something that's valuable but what you'll find and harry i know you've experienced this is you could share what you would consider a very basic elementary distinction or an idea, but for the person that you share it to, it could completely transform their life. And a lot of coaches are waiting around to feel more confident before they put their message out there. And I always say confidence is a result. It is not a requirement to wait around for confidence. You're gonna wait your entire life. Mm -hmm. By taking action with courage when you're not feeling confidence, then you see the evidence that your clients are getting. I mean, thank you for sharing this because right, my confidence is increasing hearing these results from you. So mm -hmm. I really, really appreciate that. So that's awesome. I think that that helps on the strategies. Um, what I'd love to hear about and what I know the person watching this would love to hear about are the actual, you know, the actual tangible results. So can you paint a picture for us? Could you share some of the results, whether it's, you know, number of clients you've enrolled or revenue you've generated, anything specifically that can really help somebody see what's possible for them? Absolutely. And as you know, I, I, I tend to shy away from sharing all my results. So yeah. this is, I know this, I'm now being asked, so this is going to be put out. Yeah. Um, Harry, I want to say something because you are such a <laughs> humble person. <laughs> Incredibly important, right? So for you watching this, I want you to know that Harry's come from a place to inspire you. This is not from a place of ego. This is not from a place of bragging. It's just a way for you to see what's really possible. And Harry, I'm so excited for our other students, you know, some of your other peers in the program to hear these results because many of them don't know that. And I know it's going to uplift them as well. So thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. So since this program started, I have signed over two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or over 14 clients um, and I, I will say that one of my strengths is being very focused and when I say that I'm gonna do something I do it and I I've learned ways of being in order to make things happen and a lot of the the, the thing the success that I've had in this program has been still a little still has been offline but still but um, but learning the techniques and the tools that you offer in the program so I have my women's accelerator program, which is a group of eight women. So I signed all of those women um, in this, while being in this program. And uh, those were eight women. And my, my fee for that program for a four month accelerator program is $3,500, $3,500. And then I've also signed five um, men and women for a mastermind program at a rate of $5,500. And so you could do the math, like that's them. And then I've gotten multiple one-on-one -on -one clients while being in this program as well. Some that are one-on-one -on -one that are doing some of my, some of my masterminds and accelerators. Um, and since this program, I'm putting on a live event, which is really exciting. <laughs> also, uh, I've gotten some other opportunities like brand opportunities. Um, I've gotten some partnership opportunities. It's just been like, kind of surreal, kind of crazy. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've, I've, I've really, um, I've kind of retransformed my, my finances. I've transformed the way that I do videos. Like I've got this really nice lighting. I've, I've like reorganized my workspace. Like I'm now, because of you, I've seen that you do your standing desk. I've got myself a standing desk and a, and a seat as well. I've um, reorganized habits and rituals because people in the mastermind program, they're really into rituals and I wasn't really into that before. Um, let's see, there's just been a lot of other shifts really. And I, I don't know if I, I don't know if people, this will make sense, but my, the way that I was operating my life before was um, I, I really like the mastermind because it has a, it has a lot of, a little bit more of a masculine energy that I'm, that I'm used to. And I've learned so much from that. It's kind of like let's just go, let's just go do it, uh, and it's a it's it's like this camaraderie and support that's really exciting. Yeah. So and a lot of these. It's beautiful, Harry, because there's you know obviously a lot of women in the mastermind, but you're right that masculine energy I think is important because the biggest thing that holds coaches back is not lacking strategy. 
it's the belief in themselves. It's stepping outside of their comfort zone. It's taking action in the face of uncertainty and fear and insecurity, right? So some of that decisiveness of kind of like, let's just leap off the cliff and build the wings on the way down. That's really what we're doing, right? So <laughs> I, let me just pause and acknowledge you because so, so eight clients into a $3,500 program, that's about 30,000, right? Um, five clients into a $5,500 program, that's over 25,000. So that's over $55,000, right? <laughs> Generated. Um, and th this is news to me. So thank you for sharing that. I knew that you were getting really good results. I didn't know how great your results were. So thank you for being open and for sharing this um, because it's super inspiring to anyone who's watching this. And thank you for trusting me and trusting yourself. Um, you are such a powerful coach that the opportunities that are coming your way right now, the speaking opportunities, the being the face of a big brand for a community that you're incredibly passionate about helping, the doors that are opening right now are going to create this ripple effect. And I'm just so excited for you to be able to, because you've always, you've always had this power, Harry, inside of you. And for you watching this, this, I'm speaking to you as much as I'm talking to Harry, you have that power inside of you and you always have. It's not like I gave that to you. The work that we've done has allowed you to maybe remove some of those layers, those layers of self-doubt right? Those layers of not owning that power because by you showing up, you're being the example for your clients, Harry. So I'm so happy for you, brother. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Peter. Uh, so thank you for sharing that. I, uh, I would love to hear, you know, you've been in this a couple months now. Um, who would you recommend? Who do you think would be a fit for the Six Figure Coach Launchpad program? You know, where, you know, where do you think they should be? What, what should they be struggling with or what they, should they be wanting to achieve that, you know, you would say, yeah, for sure, this program would be a no-brainer for them. Yeah. Wow. It's been amazing seeing, you know, some of my colleagues in this program. Some of them are experienced coaches who've gotten a lot out of this program. And some are have never coached before in their entire lives. And within a month, they're closing deals. And, you know, one of the women in our program is a bone coach, which is incredible. Like, and she's just on it and she's on fire and she's already so, like signed two clients and she's doing speaking engagements and events and live things. And so I would say that anyone who's a coach, wherever, whatever stage of your journey that you're at, I think even if you're making six figures, I think this program could really serve you. Uh, if you're, just starting, I think this program could really serve you as well. Um, and if you're maybe like me when you when I first started, like close to the six figures in my first year, was not quite there yet and didn't have a sustainable like system to continuously generate leads um, beyond where I was in in, in that given moment. Um, so, yeah, whatever stage you're at, I think this program could really serve you really serve you. Awesome, Harry. Thank you for sharing that. And I'm excited to help you really start because now we've gotten great results. Let's go get exponential results. And that's going to come through the systems, through getting the online platform up to getting the lead generation dialed in. That doesn't happen overnight, of course, but that's really where you create that, that uh, momentum. That's where you, you know, the, there's a performance curve, right? Where that first beginning year, that first few months is like this, and then it just gets better and better and better. So um, I'm super excited. Where could somebody go to learn about you? What's your website that people could go check out? Yes, I've got a personal website currently. It's www.harrylewislopez.com. Harry Lewis, L O U I S, Lopez.com. Um, and I spend a lot of time on Instagram. So you can find me at the, the Harry Lopez, the T H E Harry Lopez on Instagram. And I'm also on Twitter. Um, yeah, Instagram is it's a good way to find me. <laughs> well, thank you again for taking the time for this interview. Thank you for being super inspiring example, a lighthouse for many of the students watching this. 
And um, if you who's watching this is interested in finding out more about the Six Figure Coach Launchpad program uh, that Harry is in that we just talked about, then go fill out an application so that we can schedule a call. Uh, we can hop on a quick 15 minute call to work out if or how I can help you and see if you're a fit and um, we'll clarify your fastest path to building your six figure coaching business. So if you go to earn100kcoaching.com, there's an application there. Just fill out the application. Once you hit submit, you'll be directed to my calendar where you can schedule a call. Harry, again, congratulations, brother, on your incredible results. And I cannot wait to see what the month, month ahead brings. Thank you, Peter. Appreciate it. I'll see you soon.